Hi there, this is Mark II, and as you can see, we're back in the stone room, which is made out of wood, and we're not over at the other end of the portal, and this is not going to be a spiraling out episode, as was previously announced. We said we were coming soon, spiraling out, but I had an epiphany when I was uh, looking uh, at the uh, the screenshot afterwards, at the, uh, at the movie afterwards, when I saw that that contrary to what I believed, actually was underwater. That's an ocean biome over there. So my fear of uh, finding myself at the bottom of an ocean was partially realized. I actually uh, was underneath the ocean. And uh, so I was thinking, my original thought was, I will uh, spiral my way up from here and find out what kind of... Uh, get the lay of the land, but there is no land, it's an ocean. So um, what does that give us? That gives us an opportunity to do something I haven't done and I haven't really thought about doing much and that's build an underwater base. So the new plan is I will establish an underground operation at the other end of the portal and I will then build an underwater base and possibly put a fake island up at sea level over in that area and then I will explore out the land masses in the vicinity of the underwater base and that should be a great deal of fun but I'm going to need some new uh, equipment for that and one of the reasons that I was over there and one reason that I wasn't particularly um, enthusiastic about building a rail line out to Nether Fortress 2 is because the reason I wanted to go over there in the first place the reason I wanted a portal in the first place is because I'm running low on stuff. I only have less than a stack of iron. At one point, I had more diamond than I had iron ingots. So I got seven iron ore here. So I'm I'm running low. I'm I'm downright poor. I'm I'm land rich, and I'm I'm cash poor. I don't have stuff. So I need to do a lot of mining, and I need to do a lot of digging. And, and around here, I could build another another branch mine and get a bunch of stuff. But where's the adventure in that? So what I'm going to do is I need to build uh, some more armor. And as we've just pointed out, it's actually cheaper for me, in a sense, to build diamond armor. So I've been building diamond armor, and I've been uh, enchanting it. This one here is diamond chest plate with projectile protection 4, and I have some diamond boots protection 3, feather falling 4. And one other thing that I need, I wanted blast protection. Blast protection is hard to get, so I was enchanting books. I've been enchanting a lot of books. I finally got a Blast Protection 1. And the other thing I would really like is Respiration. Well, I've got a gold helmet here with Respiration 2, but it's in pretty sad shape. I got it from a skeleton, I suppose. And um, I've got a perfectly good one, so my plan here is I'm going to start building some stuff up. Now I have a lot of books with a lot of things and I'm going to need full diamond armor with the best protection or the best enchants that I can get. I need a new sword. As I mentioned earlier I would like to get a better sword for uh, for blaze hunting because uh, for now my source of blaze rods is Nether Fortress 1 which is like Apache Junction down there trying to get anything but I think I can improve the um, the cobblestone work near the the spawner and should be able to do that um, with uh, somewhat more safety than I have now but I need a better sword the last one I was using had knockback and I tended to knock the blazes too far away and I couldn't get the uh, the drops from them so I'll be um, doing a sword got a few diamonds here to finish all this out I also have the opportunity to uh, come up with a better bow. So here's what we're going to do. This is uh, we're going to do a little. Hopefully, I don't run out of um, anvil before this is over, because I'll use up mo most of my uh, my iron if I happen to use up this this anvil. Because these anvils use a lot of iron. All right, let's do it this way. I'm going to take a power two and a power two. It's going to cost me six. And that'll give me a power three. Great. There's my power three. Now, 
This is my current one that I'm using. That's a power two. This is a power two with punch one. That costs too much. Let's see if I do it the other way, if that's going to be cheaper. Okay, that's 15. I can afford it. Uses up every bit of experience that I have. So now before I can go any further, I'm going to have to head back to the XP farm and mine some XP. And then I'll be back and we'll continue working on this. But this is going to be in a few sessions. It might take over a period of, of several days. But you'll see it all in one big um, exciting part. We'll cut the, uh, the boring parts out and you only have to be exposed to the exciting parts, which is what you're really looking for. So uh, we'll see you in about one sec. I just wanted to share with you what I go through from time to time. I've mentioned before that I live in Slime City here. I get more slimes than the law should reasonably allow. And this is just an example of it. I'll wake up and there they are. Slimes. I bet you I'm going to use up this, this iron sword on them. Just trying to get the noise down around here. Because there's the slimes. Now one good thing about slimes is they do give you a lot of experience once you, once you get them all killed off. Small ones don't hurt. Some people think these things are cute. Okay, I'll take your word for it. But I guarantee you one thing, they're annoying. If you're like me and you live in this particular this cavern here, which is like a spawning ground for the things, and there went my, my one sword. Uh, I do have another one. It's going to set him on fire, though. This is Bane of Arthur Pods 5 here. So be glad you're not a spider. You'd be even deader than you currently are. Where's the other one coming from? Sometimes they come from down here. Yeah, there they are. They're down here. And they do catch on fire. So here we are. Just Slime City. Yeah, I know. And it didn't just here, it's doubled because since I live next to a since I live next to a swamp, they show up above ground as well. I'm not even sure if when they catch on fire if you I guess you still get the uh, still get the, uh, the slime ball even if they catch on fire. Yes, I see that a uh, an Enderman has been here. All right, where's that one? Over there. Grab up all of this stuff here. There's still more around here somewhere. Where'd they go? They're like cockroaches. You gotta get every one of them. And even then they'll be back and they will take over your home. Right, here's, here is the other one. Don't see the other one. I think I'm getting farther away from him. Yeah, I don't hear him over here. There's some more experience balls. Getting close here. 
hopefully I don't get lost in my own mind. Not seeing this line. I want you to know I'm doing this for educational purposes. It's so that you know what it's like to live around uh, a slime zone. So when you're out house hunting, be sure to check on the availability of slimes in the area because uh, if it's excessive, you may regret it. You may regret moving into a slime area. Well, I don't know where that other slime is, but he's not within earshot of uh, the uh, the home area here so so now I'm gonna go back to uh, to my uh, previous plan looks like we got 64 so 81 slime balls out of that and six levels of experience so that's a good thing about the slimes but the bad thing about the slimes is they're annoying so uh, I'll be back in about one second. Sounds well, like I have a visitor. Hey, where is he at? I am. Nope, that's not there. He must be over by the uh, the root cellar. Uh, over here. Oh, he's on the inside of it. How did that happen? Oh yeah, oh yeah, yeah, that wasn't a good idea, was it? Alright. Usually they don't come from down there, they're usually on the other side. There must be a spot down there that I didn't get done. Anyway, here we are. Uh, in the... In the XP farm. I'm getting a little XP been making apple juice while I let the, uh, the XP farm run. Oops, better get a, that one. There we go. Okay. Uh, anything else up there? Oh, yeah. Got a creeper up there. Go ahead and get all of it, so. You too, buddy. Come here. Come on. There you go. Wasn't so bad, was it? All right, now. So that was 34, so that's 28 since the six that I picked up from the bunch of slimes that were down in the. in there, and uh, down in the cave, in the mines. Let's see. We'll head back over and let's see wh how much we can get done with uh, with this. Meanwhile, dropping off some of it. I actually filled up. It's as I was making apple juice, I was making apple juice. I would do like two apples and then I would come and take care of it. And then about after four apples, I would clean up the, the juicer and then start over again from there. So uh, I actually ran out of room. And uh, let's see, we picked up uh, a little bit. Let's see here. Get that one. And uh, oh, these are going to go back over. This is all stuff that will go into the main storage. I'll worry about the other ones later on. They go over to the kitchen. So now let's see here. First of all, let's, uh, let's do the, the bow. That's 20 doing it that way. Do it the other way, it's 24. Okay, that's clearly going to go 20. Okay, so there we are, and it's fully fixed. Oh, and that was it for my... I knew that was going to happen. But that's a pretty good uh, pretty good bow. Power 4 and punch. So that's a, that's a good everyday bow for me. 
Now we need to make another. Gotta make another. Uh, anvil. Alright. So let me see. I know. Four. I need. Uh, there we go. I don't need six of them. I only need three. So there we go. Alright. I think it's three. Alright. Now we need. Uh, these three go across here. These like that and that. Yep, yeah, there we go. That's an anvil. And 29 iron ingots. I hope I don't have to go caving before I go back over there. I'm like pitifully low on iron. Okay, I'll put the. There we go. And now let's go back to whatever we were doing before. I do want to combine that so that I have a. Uh, a respiration helmet, and that'll just be for dime for diving purposes. Let's see if doing it that way. Oh no, it's still way too expensive to do that. I won't do that just yet. Um, okay, so for what I'm gonna do now, I'm going to uh, make um, legs. Let's make some legs here, and then we will uh, enchant the legs. <clears throat> with blast protection and that will cost me three so that's pretty cheap okay and then the next thing I need, I need to figure out what I want by way of helmet enchantments so let's see what we got available now I've got uh, let's see here that no no, no, well, protection three might might be good, but I already have protection three on the boots, projectile protection. So, boy, it's a tough choice. Probably the best I can do. I don't really need fire protection because I'm going to rely on fire resistance potions. Doesn't help. Doesn't help. None of that helps. None of this helps. And that helps. Let's see, what else do we have? These are the ones. Projectile protection. None of this helps. None of that helps. None of this helps. The best I can do is protection three. So we'll make a helmet with protection three. I also want a sword with... Um, Sharpness three, and I want a uh, a pick with uh, the best I can do on the pick is an unbreaking two. Do I have like fortune at all? Anything? Efficiency, that's going to be useful for the pick, too. So let's put an efficiency three on it. And any kind of fortune at all? No, I don't have any kind of fortune at all. I do have a fortune pick, though, so that's not too bad. This one would be efficiency and unbreaking. Maybe someday. Do I have an. Oh, I do have another unbreaking, too. So what I can do is apply that unbreaking two, and then it'll be an unbreaking three. That'll take more. Yeah, I think that's going to be the best I can do with those for now. So let's see how much I can uh, do on this uh, remaining eleven. Uh, eleven. I can go through this with. Remaining 11 that I have, we will make, need to make a uh, helmet. Okay. Need to make, um, I don't have any sticks with me, but need to make uh, 
I'll go make those over here then. And total of three sticks. Okay. And we will make um, one pickaxe. And we will make one diamond sword. This diamond sword is actually going to be for um, the um, the blazes. I'm not that concerned about. I'll use the uh, Bane of Arthropods 5. I also have a couple of Bane of Arthropods 4. And I think that will be more useful for caving and uh, just generally setting things up in the... in the uh, the new place over by uh, the um, the portal okay so that's yeah that's what we were doing there so we got that now what else do we want to do we have our diamond pickaxe and yeah we wanted an unbreaking two on that do that for three that leaves me with three I wonder if I can get my efficiency on there for three Nope, that's going to cost eight. How about can I increase it? Nope, that's going to cost four. All right, so that's as good as I can get with that. Let's see, can I get my sharpness three on there? Nope, that's going to cost too much as well. Okay, so that means it's back to the XP farm, and uh, then we will we'll complete the task of uh, creating the the new armor and the new weaponry and the new tools. I'm also going to need a shovel, but that's probably going to be an iron shovel. And uh, probably a, a hatchet. I need a hatchet. Because there's uh, an abandoned mine over there. And we need to deal with that. So, might have to chop some things. Did you hear that? Slime. There's another slime around here somewhere. Don't know where. Could be anywhere. Let's see here. We'll sleep through the night, and then we will head back over to the uh, the factory here. And, and spiders. And the burning undead. And uh, uh, that's about it. Cows. The usual stuff. So anyway, it's a typical morning here at the ranch. Uh, we will be back in about one second with a lot more experience. Okay, hopefully we have enough, uh, uh, what do they call that, levels to, um, to do what we're trying to do here. So the first thing is going to be this. I just had a near disaster, let me share with you. Um, Back in Contraption, you might recall that I uh, I had to dub over the voice because it was it didn't record. I usually do a sound check, and I didn't that time. And this time I did my sound check, and sure enough, sound wasn't working. I found what I had to do. I had to uh, restart Fraps, and then restart Minecraft after Fraps, and that's how that worked. Okay, now what we just did is make my uh, my diving helmet. That's the only purpose for that helmet. What else are we going to need here? We got that's got protection three. That's a little bit of blast protection. protection three and projectile protection. So I think we got everything. Ideally this would have had the uh, respiration but that was not to be. Now let me see. We were also planning on efficiency unbreak. Sharpness goes on the sword. Let's see if we have enough uh, levels for that. I do. And I'm a fr well, wait a minute here. Efficiency unbreaking. That's unbreaking two. Uh, oh, okay. I remember what I wanted to do here. Let's uh, let's go ahead and put the efficiency. Oh, I don't have enough. So that's going to be eight, and that's going to be to make that an unbreaking three. Gonna cost four. Okay. Well, what that means is 
back to the XP farm. So we'll see you in about one second. Okay, here we are. We should have enough left to do our final little project here. I've picked up a lot of the other stuff that I'm going to be taking to the, uh, the other perspective base. Let's see, we were going to do efficiency and we were going to make this into an unbreaking three. I wonder if that's, I don't know if it's going to cost more to do it to an unbreaking three. I guess we'll find out. So that's an unbreaking three and what does it take to put efficiency on that? Nine. I don't know. Well, it's a little more than it would have been on a two, but probably came out about the same. Okay, now I have most everything I need. One thing that I'm lacking, I wish that I had some uh, cobblestone to take over there. But there's plenty of cobblestone there, so I don't really need to uh, worry about it too much. But I am going to need a little bit. So I'm going to pick some of that up, and then we will next meet in about a second. Let's take a little more wood while we're at it. And once we're over there, we will have, um, I'll pick up some more cobblestone on the way over and, and I'll see you over at the new perspective base deep under the ocean in about a second. Okay, and here we are back in the, um, the perspective new place. Now the first order of business is to make this place safe. So I want to block off this entrance over here. I don't want anybody crawling up here on me. And I think the best place to block it off would be there. I think that's a good place for it. Cave spiders could still get in. I uh, also want to make like that one. For example, all right. Well, it was a surprise, so I guess I have to uh, figure out where the cave spider spawner is. Now, where did he come from? Did he come from behind me or up there? All right. Well, no matter. We've got to uh, make this place safe. Man, that thing scared the heck out of me. I was not expecting that at all. I was kind of in a way because I had heard spider sounds uh, from before. Let's uh, block this off. Actually, it might be better for now for me to block off everything completely. Just in case. Block that off and let's see if there's anything up there. like there is. And yes, I can hear them from behind there somewhere. So, I want to block this off. Okay, so first order of business is always uh, make it safe. And now I need to eat something because I didn't realize my health was low. Okay, that was potentially disastrous. All right, now let's see. What else do we have here? What's behind this? Oh, and for that matter, what's down there? I've loaded everything up here so I don't have to, like, juggle everything. All right, let's block this off here. And block this off by way of this. And this is just by way of making things safe. Okay. That was my very first cave spider, by the by. I have never uh, actually encountered one. I did encounter one that was glitching through um, uh, an, a ceiling at one point. I don't think that is accessible doesn't seem to be anything accessible there either. Okay, so the basic plan with this, this is the, uh, we're going to 
turn this into like a two bedroom apartment. This will be the portal chamber and then there <clears throat> excuse me, there will be another chamber on the other side. I'm not sure if um, because you can get zombie pigmen spawning through and I don't want them spawning through into uh, my work area. So I'd rather they, they be in here somewhere if they're going to spawn into this one. So that's the plan for this, and that'll probably be for another uh, another adventure. So we'll um, we'll come back to that next time. Uh, for today, I'm going to be lighting this place up so that I'm sure it's okay. Fully recovered now from my cave spider attack. I'm sure you're all worried about that. And uh, just going to be making this as safe as possible, expanding it out and, and establishing a base here. And then we'll move on from there. We'll go on and do the exploration. We'll explore because we know beyond these, these dirt walls that I put up are uh, things that need to be explored. Down there is something that needs to be explored. Probably the rest of the uh, abandoned mine shaft that's over through there. So... Anyway, thanks for watching. We're embarking on a great new adventure. This is going to be a big. We're going to uh, build another uh, branch mine over here. We're going to build an undersea base. And uh, we're going to explore all those things. And we're going to kill off a cave spider spawner. Uh, hopefully before being killed off ourselves. So anyway, we'll see you then. It's going to be really huge. Thank you very much for watching. See you next time. That wasn't what I wanted to do. I wanted to push this button here. Hang on, where's that button?